which which practice area do you specialize in, Alex? What do you do in your daily activity? Um, I earn my bread uh, with corporate. Mm -hmm. uh, well, co corporate and restructuring. And uh, um, I'm, I'm principally sitting in Cyprus and doing with uh, Cyprus uh, laws. It's quite, quite of similar to the English. I mean, it's based on English law, but it, it's different. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty relieved that I passed it, even if it's, uh, it's not exactly with flying colors, because mm -hmm. I could have done better. 70 is not the, the excellent mark. I could have done better. But anyway, that, that's, uh, that, that's a pass. I think that that's the, the very common feeling, you know, about the examination. I think that that's how most people will feel that they could have done better. But, you know, now when you are not all that stressed out, you have a different perspective. Now that you are saying that it was quite stressful, what was most stressful to you? Well, there are lots lots of things that, that are stressful. First, when I passed the exam, it was during the lockdown period. So I had to spend 10 days uh, in self-isolation before the exam. And this, is, this is quite difficult, by the way. The exam, uh, the questions are such that uh, you have just very limited time to prepare. You don't have time to think it over. You simply read the question and start immediately. You don't have time to, to put things together, to put your, your, your ideas together. It's my impression. You have quite enough time for drafting and writing. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have enough time to, for legal research. Mm -hmm. You're almost out of time. And uh, you are almost out of time when you, when you draft a, an attendance note. Okay, so you found it challenging too, right? Yeah, it's, uh, I, yeah I, I, I was writing to the very last minute the attendance note. I believe that uh, your training was very, very helpful. Helpful indeed. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm talking about because before joining the, your team, I tried to do that with <laughs> preparation course. And I should say the training which you give is uh, very concentrated and this is exactly what is needed for the exam. Well, I, I would say legal research is brilliant. The, the structure which you give is precisely what is needed, exactly what, is, what doctor prescribed, just exactly. Same with, uh, I was, I didn't have difficulty with uh, the interview as well, because I know how to structure the interview. The structure which you give, I mean, uh, your tutors at this school, which you give, helped quite a lot. And it was no difficulty. And I think, I, I don't know, of course, but I think I, I earned uh, quite a good mark at it, by the way. All right, that's good to hear. So, so you mean that after doing uh, interviews with Oski Smart, you knew what to expect more or less, right? You knew what was yes. uh -huh. exactly. With Oski Smart, I think the the structure of the interview, the questions which you asked, I mean the whole scenario, uh, I had absolutely no fear to face the interview, and it was and it was quite uh, quite uh, smooth. Same with uh, writing down the attendance note. Uh, after you make three, four, or five tries, you are absolutely fine with it. Uh, basic thing is you have to know the fundamentals. Right, um, right. So I, I think that then your advice to those candidates who are just preparing to sit the assessment, whether SQE2 or OSCE, would be first to start with reading. Am I getting it right? Exactly, exactly. You should, you should be quite uh, grounded on, on the core subjects uh, before you attend interview or uh, attendance note or whatever. Uh, you, should, you should be quite grounded on that. And, oh. um, In the examination, the tasks are more difficult than what we give or more simple? They are simpler. Right, or smart you mean tasks are more difficult? Yes, they are more difficult. I mean, I mean it's uh, uh, in terms of interview. And in terms of uh, legal, I think it's about legal drafting and writing, they are more difficult. Mm -hmm. There is uh, not much difference in terms of legal research. Legal research is absolutely unpredictable. You, you just can't predict the questions, the type of questions which we say offer you at the exam.
But I also have a separate question about part two assessments, Alex, if you don't mind. What about the requirements for part two because they are computer based and checking out Kaplan website, I found out the um, requirement that the candidate's answers must be written in Microsoft Word using MS Office Professional 2010. Now, did you feel skillful in using this software or did you experience any technical difficulties? You know, I would think of my typing speed of copy pasting, all these hot key combinations. Did you feel comfortable with this technological aspect in the assessment? It, it was a bit unusual uh, in terms of formatting. I, I find it difficult because you don't usually don't have much time. It's uh, it, it's it's a difficulty formatting the text which you have already. Um, but in terms of writing, in terms of uh, in terms of copy pasting, it's fine. So it's 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 not much difference. It's not much difference. Um, and the good thing is that uh, during the What's, what's it? Part two. It was yeah. part two, right? Yes, part two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, because I did actually at the exam, I did it the other way around. It was I, I know, yes, that you can have it. You can start with written assessments and then go back. Yes, but but uh, formally they are referred to as part two or part two. Yes. Yeah. So you have access to uh, to LexisNexis and uh, Westlaw during the whole of part two. So that means if in legal writing or legal drafting, you are not sure about it, or you don't re remember anything to the point, you might be able to quickly go to LexisNexis and uh, find it out. That's what, what I did, by the way. So if you have extra time, that, that may be a good point to use. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Now, uh, going back to what you said earlier, Alex, was that uh, you are not quite happy about the mark. I mean, you are happy to, to uh, get through the examination, but you think you could have done better, right? Yes. If you had a chance, what would you have changed in your preparation? Maybe a year ago, uh, nine months ago, what would you have done differently? What would you have focused more on and perhaps less on something, something yeah. else? Um, I would say, say, if I had to take this exam again, I would again choose the OSCE smart again. <laughs> Thank because, you so much. Yeah, I would take uh, interviews uh, twice each. Oh, really? Yeah. So that because actually actually what what I did last time that Oski smart so because uh, I I wasn't uh, I wasn't quite happy with my results at the first round so I did it once again and uh, then I was sort of well, sort of happy I would uh, take more time in preparing myself for the legal research independently. You simply have to spend some time, spend a lot of time trying different questions and knowing how to deal and how to find uh, things in LexisNexis. Uh, independently, you, um, I don't think you need a tutor here other than the structure of, uh, uh, of, of, of the, I mean, the structure of the final note which, which you make, which uh, uh, Oski Smart kindly helped. And the last thing in terms of legal drafting, I had only two uh, mock tests, only two of them. And uh, it was uh, because, because it's quite, uh, at the actual exam, it's, uh, it, it took quite, uh, quite long. It, it, it takes up a lot of the, of the exam. So you wish you, you had done more drafting. Okay, yes. because we have more drafting on offer, right? But you, you have done two and you think that was not enough. Yeah, I think that wasn't that wasn't enough. That wasn't enough. Legal drafting is um, it's again it's an area where we, which is not predictable. Of course, right? Because they should be fair to everyone. Yes, but did you feel that your knowledge was enough? Did you feel that before starting, before taking the exam, you had done enough reading, or do you think that you lacked something in terms of knowledge? I think I was more or less grounded on on everything. But uh, again, when you come to this exam, you feel that you should have spent another week on this and that would be fine then. Because at the exam, you finally know that you don't remember it's either that way or that way. 
because again of the stress. I was quite grounded and I did my preparation with the uh, LPC books, uh, which I think they cover everything you need to know in, in terms of core subjects. All right, so that's what you used for preparation that's in right. terms of knowledge to build your knowledge, right? Yes. What about what about fighting stress, Alex? Now that you said that you feel stressed out, I can totally understand that, and I think that everybody taking this exam will relate to that. But did you have any uh, approaches on how to beat stress shortly before the examination, in the examination, perhaps? I think the first day was quite a strain. Uh, and I didn't do well on the first day, but because you understand how it all goes and what you are expected to do, uh, then it goes on smoothly. All right. Yeah, but I, I'd say that that costs you a big effort, right? Because on the first day, when you feel disappointed with your performance, you need to pull yourself together. And That's to invest right. all your knowledge, skill, and your character into going on with your with your journey, with your fight. Absolutely, absolutely. It's uh, you. You are very disappointed, and you are very dis. dis I mean, say, um, discomforted to go on. But uh, uh, you should go on. And uh, when the next day you feel, uh, I think I did it better, much better, uh, then you you simply go on. You simply go on. Excellent, excellent. So I'm happy to see that you managed to cope with all the challenges and the stress and that you got through the examination. I'm happy to see that we have now switched the roles. You know, instead of you asking me questions in the interview, as, as you remember we did in Oski Smart interviews earlier, yes, now it's me asking you questions and you sharing your, your positive experience of setting the Oski. Really happy to see that with us. Yeah, Irene, I, I, I just mentioned that uh, in my belief, your uh, your questions are more difficult than the actual ones at the exams. I think it's a good idea to go on with this practice. You shouldn't uh, you shouldn't make it simpler because when you're expecting something more difficult at the exam. And you come to and, and you face a, a simpler task, you're doing your performance is much better. No, I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear that you felt prepared and that the effort that we invested in this course paid off, that you can now go on with your life, that you can better perhaps can have better career prospects. Did that does it change anything in your professional life, by the way, Alex, the fact that you uh, have passed the OSCE? Not yet, because I'm. Uh, of course, I announced that. Uh, I mean, people are asking how's your exam, and I'm, I'm saying that uh, I'm uh, I'm passed uh, finally. But uh, I'm not yet a solicitor. I cannot declare to the world that I'm a solicitor finally. So I, I keep it. Uh, I keep it low profile as yet. Uh, but uh, I'm. I'm pretty sure it's. Uh, it has its price at, at the end. All right. So you hope that it will change your professional life for the better. You do have some expectations from it. That's right. That's right. Oh, that's that's you know. Uh, we hope together with you for all those improved prospects for you, and keep our fingers crossed, of course, Alex, that it works. And of course, we are very honored and very happy that you decided to study with us, and that you don't regret it. Most importantly. <laughs> No, no, not not to a single. I mean, absolutely no regrets. I mean, this was a gift, a windfall that, that I found the uh, the Oski Smart. Like I said, I tried to do another school before, and I found that this is that I'm not moving anywhere. Uh, with your tutors, I, I I I had a feeling that I'm moving each time. I'm getting better. I know what I'm doing and I know what I'm expected to do. That, and I'm very thankful and very grateful for, for, for that. Thank you very much for your generous words, Alex. Thank you. They do mean a lot to all of us. And I will share, of course, with all my colleagues and uh, um, everyone is sending you words of, of greetings and best wishes. Thank you for agreeing to this interview, Alex. Yes. If, uh, if uh, I could be of any help to you in the future, or you have more questions, please feel free to 
to contact me. I'm, I'm, I will always be happy to, to be helpful to you. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Thank you so much. Thank you. So we'll reach back to you. And then if there's any question or anything that we would like to clarify with you, then we will reach out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye for today. Goodbye and thank you once again. Thank you.